Hi, Adam Small here with Digital Home Info, and today we're here to talk about our new email drag and drop creator. And what we're going to do is a quick demonstration of how to create your own emails using it. So, as you can see, I'm already logged into the Digital Home Info email dashboard. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go click over here on the email marketing tab and click on campaigns. And this takes me to our screen where we can see scheduled, draft, and sent campaigns. And then over here on the right is our green button that says create a new campaign. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And we're just going to put a name for our campaign in here. So I'm going to call it video drag and drop demo. And then I'm just going to select the drag and drop wizard there and push on the create the campaign button. So what this does is it actually goes out and creates our campaign for us and starts us off with a nice little uh, template to get started with. On the left hand side we have widgets for all of the things that we can drag and drop over to the right hand side and on the right hand side is a quick preview of what our email is going to look like. Uh, naturally the blue buttons won't be in the final product there. Okay. Uh, real quick, just to cover the widgets that we have. We have headers, pre-headers, titles, columns, uh, text columns, one, two, and three columns. Uh, this is a single column here, and over here is a two column and three columns, very similar. Video, dividers, images, Google Maps, lists, and social sharing. Uh, on the right-hand side over here, you can see the emails itself, and uh, you see the blue buttons. Whenever you have a content area that you want to edit, all you have to do is click on the edit button above it, that blue button there. So I'm going to start off um, with editing the preheader. And pulls up this little box here and I'm just going to put uh, kind of a quick idea of what the email is about here just a little one or two sentence thing there kind of something that'll show up in the preview section of uh, the email clients kind of entice people to open the email so and then I'm gonna hit save when I do that it says it's saved and now the email refreshes and you can see hey it says free blog class okay so um, one of the things I noticed is that I want to put an image up here to kind of help my email stand out make it uh, look great so I'm just gonna hit edit image here and I'm going to pick a file, hit open, and I'm going to hit the upload button here. And what's going to happen is it's going to show up over here on the right. And when it does, then I can hit the save button. Save that, hit OK. And there we go. So, you know, I got my blog image, free blog class. And now I'm going to add my text in down here. Now I'm only going to need a single column text. So this two column text area that I have down here, I'm not going to need. So I'm going to edit that text first. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and I'm going to hit delete. And I'm going to hit yes here. So now I've got my single column here, but it's got a picture in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put my text in here. I'm going to get rid of that picture. The first thing I do in order to get rid of the picture is just uh, uncheck that box. Um, and that way the picture won't show up in the email and I'm just gonna get rid of that content there and hit paste here and it's prompting me there so and then I hit OK and now I got my content there paste my content in and you can type it all in but save you the trouble of having to watch me type I just pasted it in and I'm gonna hit save and now we've got our content in here join us to learn more about digital home info and get great tips on effective blogging and we've got our blog piece up here and then down here we've got our social sharing stuff and our footer at the bottom so one of the things that I notice here is that I, I'm missing kind of a header so I'm going to drag a header over here I'm just going to drag and drop it right there and there we go now we've got a header we've got a nice this is what we call our agent profile header uh, it's got the agent information and their logo right here which is nice it works uh, but for this particular thing I, instead I want to use a header that I've already got uploaded. So I went to my profile uh, account info at email defaults and at the bottom here I uploaded a header. So I want to use that instead of this. So what I'm going to do is hit edit header and say hey use my header image and hit save. And now my header image pops up there. So I've got digital home info across the top, I've got my blog image, and I've got my content here. So now I've got my header up here and I'm just looking at this going, you know, it, it might help to have a little bit of a divider or something there kind of to 
you know, just segment the email out a little bit. So I just drag a divider over there. Now I look at it and I go, well, you know, I really want that up higher. So I'm just going to grab it and I'm going to drag it up and drop it right there in between the blog image and the content, which is nice. That looks good. So I'm going to actually put another one in there right here. Okay, and it looks good. And, you know, like I showed you with the divider down below, you can actually just drag and drop anything vertically in here to arrange the order however you want it to work, uh, however you want it to look. So I'm looking at this, and I'm pretty satisfied with it. I think it looks good. Um, you know, it'd be nice to see it without the blue buttons. So what I do is I hit this preview email button over here, and it's going to show it to me without the blue buttons. And there we go. Got my header at the top. I've got my blog image. Uh, my dividers and my content here, my social media sharing stuff down here at the bottom with, along with my footer. Looks good. So with that said, I'm just going to hit my next button here. And this is going to show me a preview of the email here. And all I have to do is enter my subject line select a list to send that to, select the date and time that I want to send that, hit next, and this is my confirmation screen here. Uh, campaign name, list that it goes to, the subject line, the email itself, I hit preview, see the preview, no problem, looks great and the delivery date. If any one of these things are wrong, all I have to do is hit the edit button and it will take me back to edit that particular thing. Uh, before I can actually schedule the email, I have to send myself a test message. So I click that and send myself a test message. And when that email shows up in my inbox, I look at it. If it looks great, great. I go ahead and schedule it for delivery. If there's something wrong with it, if I don't like it, then I just go back and I edit that section. You know, if it's the subject's wrong or the email I found a typo or something, I just hit the edit button and it takes me back. And that's how you use the drag and drop email creator. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Info at digitalhomeinfo.com. Thanks for watching.